Good morning, afternoon, and evening from wherever you are watching from. Welcome to Belinda's Country Living. Today's video, I will be making a butterscotch poppy seed cake. Now, this is a requested video from one of my subscribers, and so I want to give her a shout out um, to Remeli. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, but this is for you, and I hope you enjoy this recipe. So let's get started. It's a very simple recipe. It all goes in one bowl, and you're going to, um, first, you're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You're going to also need a bunt pan, and you want to generously uh, grease and flour the whole inside of the bunt pan. Include the centerpiece as well. This ensures that when the cake is done, you turn it over, that it will come out without sticking to the pan. So, the ingredients you will need is one box of yellow cake mix. I'm using the butter flavor. You're going to need one box. Now, of course, if you want to make this homemade, well, then you just hop to it. But for a dollar, I don't think you can, by the time you put the flour and the baking soda and the baking powder in, you're just better off just to use this. So we're gonna put this in this large mixing bowl. Like I said, it's a very simple butterscotch poppy seed. And to that, you're gonna need one box of butterscotch pudding, instant pudding and it's a 3.4 ounce. You know, and we're all about, in today's world, we're all about easy. Something quick, simple, but yet semi-homemade. Now let's put that in there. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day today. Here in Indiana, I woke up this morning and it was 15 degrees. Let's go ahead and mix this together. Okay, and to that, you're gonna need four eggs. You know, this is very, very easy. Um, if I wasn't doing a video, I wouldn't have to set all of this out in order, but I want you all to see what order you're going to put this in. You're going to need one cup of water. You're going to need a half a cup a vegetable oil. Now I'm just using Kroger brand and that is a half a cup. Let's get that out of there. You don't want any of that going down your sink when you you wash this. Don't want to leave anything in. You're going to need a tablespoon of almond extract. Let's find this here. Like that. You're also going to need a a tablespoon of poppy seed. that in there. Sprinkle that around. And you know, that's the ingredients. 
So it's one pack of yellow cake mix, a cup of water. You're going to need a teaspoon of vanilla, uh, not vanilla, but almond extract. Okay, now we're going to mix this up. Start out on low. If you don't like the uh, butterscotch, you can use vanilla. Now I'm going to hide. Don't want to overmix this. Smells good. Let's get all that off of these beaters here. It, uh, I'm doing a lot of things here in the house today because it's cold. I need to start setting out some of my Christmas decorations. Let's just use a spatula and scrape all that from the bottom. I don't know about you all, but I don't put up a, a very big tree. Oh, I used to when my kids were home and my little grandkids were small. They really enjoyed the huge Christmas tree. But now it's just me and my two teenage grandsons. And believe it or not, they could care less if there's a Christmas tree. Boys are different than girls, let me tell you. So I just put out a small Christmas tree. I get all my photos out. That's my oven going, going off. Let me know the oven is ready. Uh, but I get all my photos out of my deceased family, and I light candles, and just in remembrance of my loved ones that have went to heaven. Okay, so this is all mixed up, and again, please be sure to lightly sp to spray and put flour in your butt, butt pan. So now we're going to just pour that in there all around. I like to make sure I can get it as even as possible. Get all that goodness out of that. You don't want to leave any of that in the bowl. Get it all out. Kind of hard. This bowl is heavy. I'm going to spread that around. Whoops. Get some more of that out of there. Scrape, scrape, scrape. This mixing bowl has a lip all the way around. Use your finger, let's get it off of that spatula. But this mixing bowl has a lip all around it. And when you pour out of it, it wants to get underneath. I'm scraping some more out of that. I wanna get all that out of there. Just like that. Okay. I like to keep tissue over there. Wipe that up. Let me wipe my hands.
Now what I like to do is I like to just shape this, get it as even as possible. I did get some on the little centerpiece here and I want to get that off of there. It's what God give you your fingers and your hands for. Hope y'all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Christmas is what, three weeks away? And just shake that and get it as even as possible. Now, we are gonna put this in the oven. Again, 350 degrees, and you're gonna bake this for around 50 minutes. I put that in the center rack. <clears throat> so I hope you all are having a wonderful day. When that is finished baking, I will get back with you and show you the results. Okay, it's been exactly 40 minutes and I do believe that the, um, the cake is done. So let me pull it out of the oven and bring it over here and show you. That on, it looks beautiful, smells good. Turn the oven off. Now what we need to do, this cake has to cool for about 10 minutes so we'll be able to remove it out of the pan. So as you can see, it looks wonderful. And then we'll finish this after 10 minutes. Okay, we are back. We're ready to flip this butterscotch poppy seed cake over. Let's see if we can do this, y'all. It's supposed to come right there. We go. Look at that. That's perfect. Now we're going to transfer for this to a plate very carefully. Look at that. Set that aside. I sure wished I had a bigger platter plate, but I don't. One that has a lid, that a clear lid that could cover that up, but I don't. We make do with what we have. So, now what we need to do is we're going to make an icing for this. Now, you don't have to. You could sprinkle this with some powdered sugar, but I like the icing. So, what you're going to need to make the glaze is a cup of powdered sugar. And... You know what, doesn't have to be precise. Just a oversized cup. And you're gonna need a teaspoon of almond extract. You're also gonna need two tablespoons of milk. So let's get that out. I gotta go to the grocery store today. I'm about out of milk. One, two. While the house smells so good, 
Now we're just going to mix this all up. It's going to be good, y'all. I'm telling you. Smell that almond. You know, I looked several stores this last week. I mean several. I went to the dollar store. I went to Walmart. Went to Kroger. I mean, we could not find almond extract. Now, this is mixed up very well. So I thought, oh man, I'm going to have to, if I can't find this, I'm going to have to use maybe a vanilla instead of the almond. But I went to Myers and guess what? I found it. So, that is all mixed up heavenly. Let's get all that off of there. Why, but now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drizzle this on this butterscotch poppy seed cake. You want to just drizzle it everywhere. Just like that. Doesn't have to be perfect, y'all. Oh my goodness, doesn't that look good enough to eat? I'm not a cake decorator. I love this stuff. This glaze is awesome. And I'm going to use all this because I like it. Oh, yeah. I'm still working on getting some decorations out for Christmas. Let me all know in your comments. Do you put out a, a huge Christmas tree? A small one, do you all go all out for Christmas? I mean, I love Christmas, but it just gets to where, you know, we don't have Christmas here. We go to my son's and a Christmas Eve. And this coming weekend, we'll be going to his house, a bunch of us, and decorating a 10 foot Christmas tree. So there you have the butterscotch poppy seed cake. Now, you don't have to do this. This is optional, mainly for decorations or whatever, but you can sprinkle a little bit of the poppy seed on there. And I hope y'all can see that. And this is how you do it. Beautiful. Smells delicious. Now, I'm not going to cut into this and taste it. Yes, I'm going to do that. Because I'm going to my sister's here in a little bit. And we are going to, I'll take her a piece. I will take Wilma. A 97 year young woman that I helped take care of. I'll take her a piece of this. I want to thank all of you for tuning in and watching Belinda's Country Living. I want to thank all of my subscribers. Um, Thanksgiving Day, I hit 26.
hundred subscribers and I couldn't have done that without my YouTube family. So if you would, please give me the, keep giving me the thumbs up and like and share, subscribe to my channel. I want to thank all of those that have gave me the super thanks. That is much appreciated. I'm hoping by the end of the year, I might have enough money to get me a new cell phone. I have promised a lot of my subscribers to do a live video. However, I just don't think my cell phone would uh, take for live videos. Usually my cell phone will just cut off after about 20, 25 minutes. So let's cut into this and I'll give it a taste test for you. I can't stand that on there. I'm making some potato soup today. And that's what I'm going to have for dinner. Potato soup and some garlic cheese bites. So let's try this. Oh my goodness. And you can see... <coughs> finger looking good. It's very moist inside. Very moist. So let's try this. Mmm. Oh my goodness. This is really, really good, folks. My word. That is just absolutely delicious. Again, I want to thank all of you. My kitchen may be a little mess, but I am cooking in the kitchen today. Oh, this is really good. So, until the next time, and I hope, Romella, that you enjoy this video. Because this video was for you. Until the next time, remember to always be kind in your words.